the last word he said is, I don't know what I would have done without you. My name is Percy Smith Anderson, and I'm in two weeks, I will be 70 years old, and I'm a caregiver and an online outside salesperson with Pro Travel out of California, and I work from home. You said you're almost 70, and you are still working as a caregiver, caretaker, when you should be retired. Why is that? Uh, well, I'm still working because I'm a widow after seven years, soon to be seven years, I'm a widow. And I like to keep the same somewhat standard of living that I had when I had a husband. I don't want to stop at home and say, I'm retired and I'm not going to do any of those things because when you stop using your body, you lose your body. So, and I don't want to lose my body, so I keep working. So you grew up in Mississippi. And my question would be, as an African-American, have you in your life faced any sort of discrimination before? I grew up in Mississippi, born and raised in Mississippi, spent the last 35 years, well, not, the first 35 years of my life in Mississippi, the last 35 years, I've spent it between uh, California and Las Vegas. But growing up in Mississippi, I grew up in Mississippi in a northern town, northern town, small town near Tennessee. And this town that I grew up in in Mississippi is less than 8,000 8, people. It's a very small town. The whole county that I live in is less than 38,000 people. So in that town that, that I grew up in, it was only two groups of people black and white. So that's all I knew. But I really and truly didn't face that much racist or bigotry or hatred in that little town. But it was surrounding me. I did hear about it and I knew about it. It wasn't that I was blind to it, but personal, I didn't find it to be that bigger deal as it is today. Now, today I find racism and hatred and bigotry from our president more so than I found in the in a southern state. Uh, it was less racist there uh, 60 years ago, less racist there than it is today that's coming from our president. We were together 15 years, thank God for 15 years. Uh, my first marriage, and this was his, I was his third married license. I found one. I found a lovely husband who took care of me, would do anything for me. I didn't have to do nothing. I got spoiled along the way. I didn't even have to put gas in my car. I didn't know anything about that. He wasn't sick that long. And he um, just had a massive heart attack in the car with me. And the good thing about it is, if he had to go, I was happy. I was with him. He was in the car with me. I was taking him to the hot spiller. And within the block of our house, he stopped breathing. The last word he said is, I don't know what I would have done without you. March, this coming March, will be uh, seven years. I took a year, the rest of the year off, and I didn't know what I was gonna do. But I knew in the rest of that year that I was off, I was, home was not for me. And I asked God to give me strength to continue to do what I needed to do to get through this, and that's what he did. I took trust, and I trust in the Lord. I didn't blame him. I trusted in him that he would see me through this, and he did. I made it, I got up, positive keep me going when all else failed between God and positive, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs>